You, you're kidding, right? So, if red meat is replaced by nuts across four studies, including a sample of 241,000 participants, there's a reduced risk of cardiovascular consequences. So he presents it as if they've got these people and they were all eating red meat and then we swapped out for nuts or we swapped out for legumes or we swapped out for grains. But of course, these are theoretical substitutions. The majority of the studies, vast majority, no actual food was swapped. Amazing. There's always some level of confounding possible. There is some chance the study is biased. I should stress here that it doesn't actually mean that the studies are biased. So I wonder whether there's any conflicts of interest involved here. That's so interesting, Lee, because one of the theoretical swaps is to take red meat away and add nuts. Replacing red meat with nuts does reduce risk. The first study in the study of studies, when you click on the conflicts of interest, here it comes. It's the Californian Walnut Commission funded the study. Come on, man. Red meat should be reduced, and replacing it with 10 to 50 grams of nuts reduces all-cause mortality risk. Don't pay any attention to him. 